fire signs welcome back to my channel i'm here to do your guys's by dailies i'll be doing july 10 and 11 okay so what's going on with the fire signs aries leo sagittarius sun moon rising and venus aries you have temperance okay be dealing with the Sagittarius. Whoa. Okay, let's see. Leo, you have the Hermit reversed. Be dealing with the Virgo. That's the sign of Virgo. Sagittarius, you have the King of Wands. Okay. So, let's see what's going on with my male fire signs. Mel Aries, please. Mel Aries for the next 48 hours. That wants to come out. Six of Wands. Ooh, success, triumph. All right, so uh, let me get one more for my Mel Aries. All right. Yep. Knight of Swords. Nine of Swords. So, I'm seeing here that you are triumphing over the your enemies, pretty much. Um, you are mixing the energies from above, so below. Um, you're going within. You're using physical energies with spiritual energies. And that's why you succeed. This is why you're succeeding. Okay? This is... A lot of fire energy. You could also be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or even a, a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, so I'm definitely seeing that you are reigning over your enemies. You are succeeding over them. Definitely that. Okay, if you are into music or the arts or anything like that, you have something very successful coming to you. Something very exciting. Okay, you could be collaborating with, with uh, certain people to make a BAM, a big shabam, <laughs> is what I'm seeing here, yeah. Um, you're, you're someone very spiritual, but at the same time, you know how to speak your truth in your mind, whether that's through your, your creative arts, works. There is going to be some kind of, um, people see you as very successful. Everything that you do and put your mind to, you succeed. Because you not only just use the logic you know you use your the 3d and the 5d is like they're merging together to create something very successful and i'm definitely seeing that the heavens above or are, are taking notice of that and they will be showing you some kind of approval uh, not approval but appraisal okay you're getting praise for what you're doing definitely see i'm seeing a lot of eyes on you too also so if you see this a lot of eyes are on you so at the same time because there's a lot of eyes on you you could have a lot of haters or dealing with a lot of haters too where it could mentally they could mentally try to fuck with you or bring you down because of your successes okay hate jealousy not good but you will be definitely succeeding over your enemies all right so female aries please female aries Aries. Thank you. All right. So, female Aries. You have the six. Wow. What are the odds of that? Six of wands again, just like my males. Zam. Then you have the three of swords reversed. So, that's good. You're getting out of heartbreak. You get you see in the upright how there's heartbreak and everything. Someone really says something to hurt your feelings. So you're rising above your hurts. Okay, you you took what you you know what you went through, the pains and everything, heartache or whatever, and you took that and you succeeded. You you freaking people are looking at you. People are you know staring at you, seeing how strong you are. Look at that big that lion. Okay, that could be Leo too. That strength. So despite of what went through 
what you went through with the three of swords because now it's reversed so this is you healing already healed and now you're you're ready to make it on top you're succeeding okay you know how to stay there you went you turned to spirituality you looked within spirit and the angels god and goddess are there to help you they helped you heal that's exactly what you did. You took time to heal, and now you're making it. This is crazy. What are the odds of two Six of Swords coming out for my male and female Aries? Like, you guys are mirroring each other, you know? Especially if you're dealing with another fire sign, like I said, with my males. If you're dealing with a female Aries, okay, there could have been heartache in the past and stuff like that. You could have said something to another fire sign, and that broke her heart, and now she's healed from it, and... She's also took that pain and turned it into success. Same thing for you. But you, you're more like dealing with, you know, haters and shit like that. So that's great. There you go, fire signs. All right. Now let's deal with my Leos. Leo men. Hermit reversed. Let's see. Two came out. All right. Perfect. The chariot reversed with the eight of swords reversed. So, okay, could also you could be dealing with either a Virgo, um, a Cancer, or an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So, Leo men, Leo men, you're coming out of the dark. You're coming out of resting, hiding. Maybe you took time to stay away and set back sit yourself back a little bit so that you can you know learn a few things now you have some major decisions to make and you're not okay this is this is the chariot reverse is no forward movement you're not deciding to move forward just yet you're not you haven't made a decision just yet how could have something to do with the virgo okay and then with the eight of swords reversed You see how in the in the upright, there's like a huge skull right here. And there's like lightning and shit and all these swords. Like this is like mental fuckery, people fucking with you. So, but it's reversed now. So maybe you had to take some time in the past to really pull yourself back, to put yourself together mentally. And that's what you did. And now they're all reversed. So now you're having a hard time on whether or not you want to come out use what you've learned during your time of hiding or time to yourself learned a few things and now you don't know what to do with your life <laughs> you're like okay um kind of feel like stuck because the chariot reverse is no forward movement this is also the sign of cancer so i don't know dude like you you're ready to come out but you don't know where to go now or you don't have a decision to make or maybe this Virgo is giving you the green light and you don't know what to say or do anymore. And you're just like, uh, going back and forth with your thoughts is what I'm seeing here. <laughs> All right. Leo women, Leo women, please. What's going on with my Leo women? Thank you. Oh, three came out for my Leo women. What the hell? Hermit and the upright though for my Leo women. Wow. Same thing with the, what is, this is crazy how it's just all linking up together, right? <laughs> Page of Pentacles could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Okay, Hermit is a sign of Virgo. You could be dealing with the Virgo. Um, and then you have the Page of Swords reversed, okay? <clears throat> So, with the Page of Swords Reverse, you could be dealing with someone who's very immature. They really don't know what they're talking about sometimes because a Page of Swords Reverse could be someone that's very, you know, immature. If you're dealing with another, maybe you're dealing with your kid. This could be your kid or a boy. Not a man, a boy. Because Page is like immature, young energy. So, you could be dealing with someone immature. But definitely that. Um... With the page of pentacles reversed, okay, there's two pages here. So that's crazy, right? Mm-hmm. What are the odds of that? Page of pentacles and page of swords. So someone, the person that you're dealing with, definitely an earth sign, or maybe even an Aquarius Libra Gemini, but I'm seeing more of earth. So um, 
person you're dealing with doesn't know, maybe you're telling this person to get a job or something, okay? Or you took some time off or they took some time off to teach them something, maybe teach them about school or teach them about work and all that stuff, and they don't know what to do with their lives just yet, okay? Someone doesn't know what to do with their life, their career, you're not sure if you want to take this job, or you missed an opportunity because you were in hermit mode, okay? You pulled yourself back. Someone pulled herself back. They missed opportunities. Now they're feeling a little upset about it. Like, oh, fuck, I fuck, you know, I messed up. I don't know why I'm seeing someone drink too much or they're into drugs and alcohol. That's why there's a lot of immature energy. You could be dealing with an adolescent, okay, a teenager perhaps, or they just want to be in the dark by themselves and their room locked up. Could be a Virgo, okay? If you have a daughter or something and you're dealing with that, that's that's the situation you're dealing with. You got to deal with this adolescent kid or child. <laughs> All right. So, um Yeah, they don't know how to spend their money wisely. All right. So, let me see. Sagittarius, you have the King of Wands. So, Sagittarius men, please. Sagittarius men. Thank you. The Queen of Wands. Look at that. King and Queen of Wands. All right. So, you could be dealing with the Twin Flame. With the Two of... Ooh, look at that. Two of Swords. Someone's cutting someone out. Okay. You could be cutting out a... Either you're cutting out a female fire sign. Or you are the one... Or they are the one cutting you out. Okay. Yeah, someone's cutting someone loose. Definitely that. Okay? Because I'm on male, so this could be you, male Sagittarius, cutting out a female fire sign, okay? Because they were acting immature, they were acting like a bitch. Because the Queen of Wands in reverse is someone who can be very impulsive, someone who can start drama, you know, someone who can put you out and your, make you cry with their words and just piss you the fuck off. Someone pissed you the fuck off. Either if it's a, if it's not another fire sign, it's an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, you're trying to block them out. You probably block them on social media. Block them out because you want to, you you want to have your peace of mind. And this person, this woman here, this girl or chick or man, is really getting on your goddamn nerves. So you cut, you had to cut them out. <laughs> yeah, cut them loose. All right, female Sagittarius, female Sagis. Yeah, you're like, I'm busy doing my own thing, running my empire, doing my, my thing. And you're over here being immature and bitchy. Nah, bye. Girl, bye. Women, Sagittarius. Thank you. All right, King of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. All right, so with the Knight of Cups reversed, okay, you could have told somebody that you didn't want them to come forward or this fire sign that you're dealing with, another fire sign, okay? Could be male or female too, it doesn't matter. Um, you had to stop them from coming forward or you're like, you know what, I don't have feelings for you. And then they're like, they took that to their heart or whatever. They stopped themselves from coming forward or someone's stopping themselves from coming to, you know, tell, tell you how they feel. Or you're stopping yourself from telling this fire sign how you feel, okay? Because you're dealing with the king of wands here. You are in the ten of pentacles. You're busy working on your money, being independent, okay? They see that. They're very attracted to that. Could be a, a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But definitely that you're, you're busy being independent, working on your money, working on your shit, and uh, the person that you're dealing with, this male, if it's a male, is not coming clean about their feelings. So you're just like, whatever, do your thing. Um, I'm busy. I'm doing my thing. And they're just sitting there thinking, what am I going to say? Or I'm afraid to come to her and say something because they know that you really don't need anybody because you got yourself. 
You know what I mean? So it's like they're afraid to come forward and I'm seeing someone's afraid to come forward to speak, you know, how they feel and shit. So that is what I'm seeing here. <laughs> All right, guys, this was your buy dailies for July 10 and 11. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in your next video. Love you. Bye.